Hello all, we are here for the new training course of uh, Varicad 2016. This is about a brand new version and uh, it is uh, released this course uh, due to a lot of requests from our uh, YouTubers, from our customers that demand uh, an updated training course for this brand new version. Um, first uh, and, and, and before we start uh, seeing uh, the content of this lesson that basically is just introduction to, to the Varicad, um, I'd like to speak a little about a couple of topics. Uh, first, um, I'd like to to thank you all for the comments and the emails and the feedback we have when we release the, the course for Varicad 2014. We had a lot of people uh, asking for uh, many things and among those things also um, an updated version for, for the, the, this brand new um, 2016 uh, version of Varicad, not only in English but uh, also in Portuguese. So we will release at the same time uh, lessons in both English and Portuguese. And uh, I'd like to to ask your feedback and to ask your help for comments on the lessons and uh, if they are okay, what you like, what you don't like, and if you need help in your question, in, in what might be not so clear, okay? Um, I would like to talk to you a little about also uh, complementary information we have for these videos, uh, because uh, we have um, a theoretical course that uh, in, in, in other topics has these videos or the links for these videos inside. And uh, let me show you a little about what uh, we have for this uh, course. This is an example, a couple of slides. Uh, we will have this completely updated also for um, English and for Portuguese. Uh, we have a lot of slides showing uh, the different topics of the software with uh, images uh, showing uh, what is uh, wanted to be to be seen. We have links for the YouTube videos and uh, you see also here some topics of what we are going to see on the next lesson, more topics. Okay, uh, description of the of the different screens and uh, on the menus, whatever. A lot of information and I think important uh, information for uh, who wants to learn a little deeper uh, the software. Besides, we have also uh, an exercise book which you can see here in a couple of, uh, in this case, 2D examples. We, ha we have a lot of different drawings for practicing. A couple of them. Uh, let me show you, speed up a little to show you uh, on the 3D side. Many examples to make you practice, okay? Let me reach the 3D side to show you some examples. Very simple parts to start and we go and make uh, more difficult stuff. Okay, we have many things. Um, but the idea also is to improve the course, uh, the theoretical side. We will increase also the number of uh, drawings that we have available for your practice and uh, more upfront we will release uh, all the videos showing how to solve all these um, exercises in also here in youtube okay so 
for everything you want to know you'll get our email and our contacts below the description of um, of this lesson so now starting with the lesson uh, as i told you this is uh, the brand new version of uh, of varical and you know already that varical is a mechanical engineering package for cad 2d and 3d the professional package uh, at this moment there are several languages available english uh, german chinese portuguese uh, probably in the future we will have um, other languages supported hopefully uh, we here in catsoft uh, can give you also spanish not so long from now and basically varicad is what we can call a all in uh, program because uh, even that we speak about module that um, the software has inside it uh, there are no modules when you buy the software so you have the 2d drawing the 3d modeling the libraries of mechanical parts and 2d symbol symbols uh, bills of materials, uh, title blocks, uh, you can have uh, 3D parameters at, at this moment, constraints, uh, mechanical calculations, etc, etc. All of these are inside, so you don't have to spend any um, extra money to, to have uh, all this for your work. Besides, it is important to know that regarding the previous version, uh, this brand new uh, Varicat has a lot of improvements in many things for the, those among you which are interested in knowing in detail um, what are the new um, functionalities we send us an email and we will, we will reply uh, uh, to each one of you showing uh, in detail all the improvements but uh, I can say for example we have new methods for creating or making addiction of solids uh, we can now have a new functionality uh, called lofting uh, to create solids through several sections we have uh, we can edit uh, with new commands basic solids like boxes cylinders etc we have a lot of new functions in 2D and new ways with, cons with construction lines, more options, etc, uh, etc. Et Many improvements on the 3D kernel and uh, importing um, files on the step and uh, DWG and DXF formats, etc. A lot of things, so uh, for, more de for more details, send us an, e an email and we will give you all all the picture of what is going on okay basically um, regarding um, this uh, software uh, it changed a little because now even that uh, you can uh, optionally receive a DVD with the software everything is uh, web-based now so after you contact us or Varica you will receive a link to download the file from uh, our site or their site and uh, you'll be able with the codes to have a proper license to work with your with your program um, on the hardware uh, and software uh, we recommend uh, if you are using Windows uh, I would say at least Windows 8.1 or 10 if if you if you have it already updated and uh, on the Linux you have a lot of distributions you can use but uh, the ones we recommend are what we call LTS long time supported or professional distributions which are more stable and supported by by companies um, so in terms of the hardware in RAM we recommend at least two gigabytes but if you are planning to work with 3D um, big big assemblies you should have more and uh, consider to have 8 or even 16 if you are working with very big files 
Um, graphic card, you should use uh, any graphic card, but uh, you, you should have OpenGL support. Um, ideally, OpenGL 4.0 or 4.3. Um, okay, you can use the 1.1 version of OpenGL, but in this case, some functionalities may not be available or you can have limitation um, in your work. Uh, the RAM for your graphic card, uh, one gigabyte is it's enough, but uh, again, big files, uh, two gigabytes or even four gigabytes will help you to have uh, better performance in your software. Uh, we have uh, already support for multi-threading you know, on, the, on the processors and we can use until 8. Um, we can use two, two monitors also uh, and uh, you'll have um, also a description on the theoretical course in some tasks that you can do in one monitor and uh, on another one uh, and on the other, sorry. And uh, you have also versions in terms of the uh, software support to run Varicad in both 32-bit uh, versions of Windows or 64-bit. For sure, we recommend you the 64-bit because also of performance and the future is... Uh, you have more machines now for the, the 64-bit and for the 32 so all these explanations and finally I would like to um, show you one function where you can test your hardware and uh, where you can do benchmark of different machines. Okay, You will see that my laptop is, uh, my computer which is a laptop, an HP, is not uh, the best of the machines. It's not, it's not bad but it's not uh, the best in the market. But um, this, this command is a little different from previous version because uh, now you have a standard file to test um, the same position, the same file. It's a, an automatic procedure inside the program, so it's easier and the results are re more reliable to compare the performance of each machine. So basically you should come to this area here and write HW test like this okay and do enter in your keyboard and now you get this dialog box where you can say method of testing on the current file which you can do it but I don't recommend so that you can do this benchmark I was talking about so perform test on standard benchmark file continue and now we should let the program work okay uh, it will take a little uh, and for sure because it's a performance um, it depends on the machine you have so at this moment we are doing this this is a standard file that uh, Varicat has so it is preparing detection and you see the results it will give you um, uh, this uh, hardware and system information of, on what you have and uh, you have all this data for preparing, for rendering, rendering, preparing detection. And you can have uh, a deeper test doing the rebuild, which will uh, take a little longer and we will do it uh, right away. Uh, besides, you can save this to a file to, to take this and uh, to in different machines or whatever you want to do with it uh, to compare. So test of rebuilding now. This will take a little longer because, uh, as I told you, um, this is uh, okay. This is a, a i5 computer. It's not so bad, but okay, it's not uh, uh, the best of the computers. Even so, you can see that I have four gigabytes of uh, of, of RAM, and uh, I have two gigabytes uh, of RAM in my graphic card. So. Uh, it takes some time, okay? Uh, usually I don't work with very big assemblies, but anyway, each one of you should choose the proper machine to, to be adept to your kind of parts, to your kind of work. 
so it's almost finished a uh, little couple more seconds uh, before uh, we had only uh, available the possibility to to do this kind of tests in, uh, in the file that you had in your computer or in one of the sample files that came with Varicad but I think this it was uh, a very nice uh, idea and improvement to to analyze um, the performance of each machine with the software so um, almost done and the idea is to you see rebuild objects it took me 86 seconds something like that or in milliseconds okay uh, so with this test you can do uh, you can run this procedure in several machines and you'll be able to um, to see what is the performance for each machine so basically this first lesson is done i hope uh, you will enjoy this new training course and uh, I hope to improve the kind of explanations and the examples I will give you in each one of the lessons. Anyway, uh, I would like to have your, uh, your presence and your comments because it will help on the feedback. It will give us also some motivation to continue with this work.